Hey Kelsey, this is Jeff with Zucor Marketing. We're based out of San Antonio, Texas. And as promised, here's your website analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. We're also going to run through a couple of things that you can implement right now. And aside from reviewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your top competitors' website and show you how they're currently beating you online and what you can actually do differently to, of course, counteract that. So first, we'll start off with your website. Well, you actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo at the top. You have good photos, nice layout, good amount of contents. You also have your client testimonials, which is really important for a website, the services that you offer, and good amount of contents as well. So there's actually just some few things we're going to get over with first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1,500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1,500 words or more. Let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your homepage. All right, so for some reason, it seems like the option for me to copy a content on your homepage is restricted. Um, but no worries. What you just need to do is you, you just need to make sure that you have at least 1,500 words for you to be considered by Google as a trustworthy website. And of course, the more words, the better. Another thing we like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I did a quick search of the home remodeling in one of the areas you're servicing. We'll talk more about the results that we have here. Starting off with the first one. So this is what we call the map pack. And of course, this is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and are easier to find. And I'm seeing that you're ranking second on the map hack searches and one way for you to be at the top of the list is you'll need to add all of your company's information into as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, and so on and so forth. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the website that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads just because they're doing some certain things. That's exactly what we're gonna talk about and analyze. So I pulled up one of the top ranking website. Let's see what they have differently. So for their website, they also have their logo at the top. They have call to action. They also have good photos, good amount of contents. So let's see how many words they have on their website instead. So for their homepage, they currently have 1,122 words. Well. This is actually a good number. However, they're still kind of behind with the goal of 1,500. So one thing that you need to focus on is to adding more words into your homepage. That way you'll, your website is going to be considered as a much more trustworthy website. Let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers as well. So we have here Ahrefs, one of the pay tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. So we'll be talking more about the numbers starting off with DR, so this is the level of trust that Google has in your website and UR is the strength of your website. Backlinks on the other hand, this are other website that actually refers to your website. So they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and the like. One important thing that I need to discuss about backlinks and referring domains is that this actually needs to be a two to one ratio. So this 55 referring domains that you have, these are what we call the good or strong backlinks. And the rest of the missing backlinks, those are what we consider the spammy backlinks. Let's also take a look at your competitors' numbers. So looking at their numbers, starting off with DR and UR, well, it actually shows that you have a much more trustworthy website, although they have a stronger website. That's mainly because they have more. Um, let me just make sure we have the right. All right, there you go. So yeah, you still have a much more trustworthy website. However, they have a stronger website. That's mainly because they have more backlinks. They also have more keywords, which gave them more traffic. 
um, you don't need to be overwhelmed with the current number of backlinks that they have. All you need to do is just to increase the number of your backlinks and of course add more keywords. Just make sure you increase the strong backlinks as well for you to have a much better ratio. And as a result, you'll definitely get more traffic out of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the strong backlinks and keywords that they're currently using. And let's discuss the importance of this too, especially in making your website stronger and better. So starting off with the strong backlinks, these are all the directories they're currently listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're also ranking higher in the searches. Next we have our organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are the total number of people that searches for these specific keywords on Google every month. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way, more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. <clears throat> Another thing we'd like to talk about are hidden keywords. Um, so for hidden keywords, for every photo that you have listed on your website, you can actually rename them with a hidden keyword instead. And of course, you can do the same thing with the other photos you have on your website. That way, you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into your website. And not only that, of course, for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your ranking is first, the amount of content where we're going to add a few more words into your homepage. That way, Google actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Next are the backlinks where we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way we can actually bring you more traffic and of course the higher chances of your website in appearing at the top of the map pack list. Last but not the least would be the keywords where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and of course choosing the right ones. That way more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now. And of course, we can also help you out in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. I'm also going to be following up just to get some feedback about the ideas I discussed on this video. So I really do appreciate your time. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.